All I can say is that the fake news just doesn't get it, do they? <laughs> I mean, they're totally fine with war criminals. Vladimir Putin, Joe Biden himself said he's a war criminal, but he still has a Twitter account. How about that? Yes, uh, the president of Russia, his Twitter account is still active with 1.7 million followers. This guy is calling for uh, civilian uh, targets. He wants to take down civilian airplanes, all kinds of creepy warnings coming from this account, yet it's still active. Yet Donald Trump, suspended, banned for life from Twitter. How about that? And nobody, everybody seems fine with that. Also this, so you know, the mainstream media, the fake news, they have finally acknowledged that the Hunter Biden laptop, the one with all the weird pictures and all the incriminating emails, yeah, it's his. It's real, it's legitimate. (laughs) We were right all along. The New York Post, Miranda Devine, Newsmax, Rudy Giuliani, We were right. Now we knew it, but it's funny. Now liberals will have to acknowledge it. I wonder how they're going to ignore it this time. The laptop that was dropped off at that little shop in Wilmington, Delaware by a drunk hunter one night several years ago that details all of his comings and goings in China, in Ukraine, in Russia. It's all there, it's all legitimate, and it's all very, very damning. So let's go to these Now, mainstream media authenticated emails. Email number one. The announcement of my guy's upcoming travels should be characterized as part of our advice and thinking. But we will, what he will say and do is out of our hands. Now, my guy is his dad, the vice president of the United States. And he's talking about an upcoming trip to Ukraine where he will be taking that job with Burisma before the trip. Next, please. The contract should begin now, not after the upcoming visit of my guy. And then he talks about all the money he wants. Now, the upcoming visit by his guy was, yes, the vice president of the United States, my guy, visiting with the president of Ukraine at the time in 2014, Mr. Poroshenko. Now, it has been verified. I'll get to the specific newest verification. But first, when I talked about it, when we talked about it, when the New York Post talked about it, Look at what they said about us. The right wing is going crazy with uh, all sorts of allegations uh, about Biden and his family. Too disgusting to even repeat here. Hunter Biden's laptop, that whole thing is, mm-hmm. has been fizzling. It looks like it's tied to Vladimir Putin in Moscow. When you look at this uh, computer uh, store owner in Delaware who allegedly received Hunter Biden's laptop, that is more in line with the, when you think about somebody who's a useful idiot. That's kind of the entry point that is kind of, a, again, a classic indicator of the potential uh, presence of disinformation. Hey, by the way, is that Peter Strzok? I think it is. Talk about idiots, huh? Well, the New York Post had this story in the fall of 2020, and it was huge. And it really made the Democrats and big tech nervous. So what did they do? They pulled some strings, and they got the oldest newspaper in America kicked off the internet for three critical weeks before the election. And the swamp, boy, did they kick in big time. Uh, All kinds of former intelligence officials from Democrats, uh, Republicans, they came together and wrote a phony letter trying to say that this was all disinformation. We write to say that the arrival on the U.S. political scene of emails purportedly belonging to Vice President Biden's son, Hunter, much of it related to his serving on the board of Ukrainian gas company Burisma, has all the classic earmarks of a Russia disinformation campaign. And these guys who wrote it, heavyweights, Jim Clapper, Mike Hayden, he was CIA under Bush, Leon Panetta, John Brennan, of course. Now, these guys being the swamp characters that they are, they knew that this thing was legitimate, so they provided themselves an out. In that letter, little uh, postscript. We want to emphasize that we do not know if the emails are genuine or not, and that we do not have evidence of Russian involvement. Well, then don't sign the letter. But they did, and it was very, very useful um, in the debate, okay? Because that letter existed, and when the issue came up, when Donald Trump brought it up, well, watch Joe Biden lie. Well, I tell you what, I, uh, I hope he does look at me, because what's happening here is, you know who I am, you know who he is, you know his character, you know my character, you know our reputations for honor and telling the truth. 
I am anxious to have this race. I am anxious to see this take place. I am the character of the country is on the ballot. Our character is on the ballot. Look at us closely. Let me ask some follow-up. Excuse me. Please respond, if and then we're going to have follow-up. If this is true questions. about Russia, Ukraine, China, other countries, Iraq, if this is true, then he's a corrupt politician. Right. So don't give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby. Joe, they're calling you a corrupt politician. Nobody. Take President the Trump, I want to stay hell. on the issue Excuse of race. Me. We're Take talking about the, the issue. from hell. President Trump, Nobody. we're talking about race right now, and I do want to stay on the issue of race. President Trump, you've I have dis- to respond to that. Please. Because look, Very there are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. They have said that this is, has all the care. Four, five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes it except the, his and his good friend, Rudy Gianni. You mean the laptop is now yeah. another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And you that's exactly be. what, is this that's where exactly you're what This is told. where he's going. The laptop that, right. is Russia, yeah. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Mr. Here we go President, again with Russia. We're going to continue boy, on the boy. issue of race. Mr. President, you've described. Back to the issue of race. Some fascinating things happen in there. Again, he used that phony letter to his advantage. Did you see Joe Biden for a moment when Donald Trump brought up the laptop? Joe was scared, alone and vulnerable and scared. He had that letter to go to. We now know it's phony. I'll show you how the fake news verified it in a moment. But first, remember, the guy has always been a liar. It comes so easy to him. Take a look. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. And so how do you know? Here's what I know. I know Trump deserves to be investigated. He is violating every basic norm of a president. You should be asking him the question, why is he on the phone with a foreign leader trying to intimidate a foreign leader? If that's what happened, that appears what happened. You should be looking at Trump. Trump's doing this because he knows I'll beat him like a drum. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the the, uh, presidency to try to do something to smear me. Here's what I know. When you catch a liar, they often do what Joe just did. Deny everything, admit nothing, and make counter accusations. That's what he did. And quite frankly, here's some proof. In that laptop is an email uh, from Vadim Parzarsky, a Burisma senior employee to Hunter, thanking him for the opportunity to have met his father at a dinner that Hunter set up in Washington, D.C. There are a million emails about setting up the dinner, and they have a cover story for the dinner. It's, um, it's dirty stuff. It really is. And now for the mainstream media's final embrace of the laptop, because... Now that Joe Biden is safely in the White House, now they can look at Hunter because he is under federal investigation. A grand jury is hearing evidence. The New York Times writes today, uh, I'm sorry, this came out uh, late last night. And let's bring it up on the screen, please. Uh, They cite emails and those emails were obtained by the New York Times from a cache of files that appears to have come from a laptop abandoned by Mr. Biden in a Delaware repair shop. All right, there you go. That's pretty significant. I mean, in a way, because now liberals, the latte liberals, that whole scene, they'll have to admit it. I guess they'll just ignore it. They'll pretend none of this happened. Jen Psaki kind of did that. Now, during the campaign, this notorious liar, uh, Psaki, Hunter Biden's story is Russia disinformation. Dozens of former intel officials say. Each of those uh, intel officials should be challenged on this. They should have been then. They should be now. So what does she say now that the New York Times is saying this is the real deal? Go ask somebody else. The New York Times has authenticated emails that appear to have come from a laptop abandoned by Hunter Biden in Delaware. Um, The president previously said that the New York Post story about this was a bunch of garbage and that it was a Russian plant. Does he stand by that assessment? I've pointed the Department of Justice and also to Hunter Biden's representatives. He doesn't work in the government. Well, just that's it. And they're probably they're probably gonna get away with it. Again, they're safely in the White House. Here's the thing though, a lot of folks did not know about this when they needed to know about it back in the fall of 2020. 
And polls indicate that at least 17% of Biden voters would have changed their vote if they knew about this stuff. And guess what? If they did know about it and they changed their vote and Biden wasn't president, but Trump was, Ukraine wouldn't be happening. Because can you imagine Donald Trump saying something like this if Putin were on the verge of invading Ukraine? Russia will be held accountable if it invades, and it depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having a fight about what to do and not do, etc. What if he invades just a little bit? Joe Biden gave a green light to Putin. Why would he do that? Why? You know, sometimes war, it helps a president, helps them with their poll numbers. Could that have been on his mind? I wonder, I wonder. 62% of Americans know that this would not be happening under Donald Trump. 